Hello everybody, Ben here and today I'm going to be viewing Depot's Engage Class 35 Hymet in BR Green. The version I got was 2D-018-007 Hymet D7003 in two-tone green with no yellow warning panel, BR Green Lakecrest. The instructions include an exploded diagram, you can also see all the parts from that as well. The model needs some oiling on the exposed gears on the bogies and the model is, be, is able to be fitted with a DCC decoder which is 6 pin. The model also includes a sheet of root indicators and various other different accessory packs such as different couplings and snow plow and other buffer beam details as you can see in the box. The root indicator sheet will get on with in a second. Removing the actual loco from the foam is a bit hard but you can get it out and None of, the, none of the details seems to drop off particularly easily. The root indicator sheet, which there are a few of, we can see there's three here, three different rows, but you can have all different sorts of variations. Obviously, you can decide which ones you want to use. I've used them already, as you can see, because there's some missing. I'll show them in a second. Um, it is a bit hard to see, as you can see, because of them being dark simply on the boxes there, but you'll see them when it's actually running um, in the bit at the end of the video when I show it running. Starting on the roof, we've obviously got these horns here on um, both ends. You've also got various panel lines and these sort of dots here as well. They all look very nice though on this sort of little grey part here. Got various other details there on the roof and obviously the big old fan there. That looks very nice. Uh, you've also got these. Are those the exhaust there and various other details. That hole there, that box there. There's obviously one that on the other end there. Oh, it looks very nice. The grill looks very nice. I believe that's etched, as you can see here. You can kind of see all the detail underneath it. I don't think there's a fan, but I don't think there needs to be, really. It does look very nice, though. The sides are also very nice with this door here. This also, this other big grill, various other windows as well. Makes it all look very nice. You've got the also the other two doors here and the other various windows and grills across the sort of front. Got that one up there, these two with all these silver sort of surrounds, which look very nice. You've got these two lines here and the separately fitted hand metal handrails, which are very nice, nice and shiny. Bit weird maybe for this diesel. Um, maybe wouldn't be as good, say, if you wanted to weather it because they've got these shiny handrails. But it does look very nice. The door also has door knob. The lower part on this sort of lime green section here looks very nice with the steps, this various other details such as that hole there, the white box a bit earlier, and that other one there. Bit of detail, don't exactly know the steps there again under the cab, it all looks very nice really. You've also got these moulded windscreen wipers on the window, you've got these separately fitted handrails across the front and these two smaller ones here. You've got the root indicators, the lights, lamp irons and lots of other detail that all looks very nice. I think the metal handrails though do make it look very nice but also a bit weird. Though for this sort of not model that isn't particularly anything special, so like a special edition. But you've also got this pipe here and on the underframe, the NEM coupling pocket and also the dummy coupling on the front. The NEM couplings can be easily pulled out and put back in due to them being NEM. You've also got on the chassis the steps on under the cabs various other details such as springs in these axle boxes, loads of underframe detail. Probably say not as good as the Class 68 from Dapple as well, but it is fairly good. I do believe though this is a lot older than the Class 68, both in real life obviously and in model form. You can also see very standing boxes there, springs and other details that I don't know the name of, but overall I do think the bogies look very nice. The fuel tank looks nice, you can also see the motor under there, and I think there's some switches in the um, fuel tank various lighting configurations but overall the underframe does look very nice. You can see that there's a fingerprint on the window which isn't too good but the number of D7003, the builder's plate and the red dot which I believe is for the root availability all looks very nice. There is also a little bit of extra paint with sort of like little flecks or something in it there as you can see but overall it doesn't look too bad because it's not on the other side of that end over there as well with the also the buffer beams and the buffers there all being very nice with the say triangles and the red on the buffer beam all being painted very nicely the cab surrounds may in the white necessarily aren't the best but i do think everything does look fairly good the model weighs 79 grams has all wheel pickup and is all wheel driven which is very good i would say slightly weird thing as you can see sort of brass i think that is and various other things on the underside but I don't it's kind of hard to see but I think you can almost see the motor but I don't think that's a too 
bad thing because you're rarely looking on the underside. It's very easy to get on the track as you can see. Nothing wrong with the gauging as far as I'm aware. And it does look run very nice. It looks very nice running while it's at it. You can see that the lights are working pretty well. You can go from down very easily. It's a very nice runner, I would say. Not nearly say as good as crawling as the Class 68, but it's a fairly decent crawl. It's sort of still moving now. Um, it probably isn't too bad, really, for realistically what this would do. It probably can be sort of run at that sort of speed, no problem. It runs very well over point work, as you can see. No stopping there at all. And overall, there's nothing particularly wrong with the mechanism. I think it should be a very good mechanism. It must have a good motor in it, I believe, due to the good performance that you can see from this model. The gearing isn't too bad at all, as you can see. It's not very fast. I wouldn't say overly fast for this model, at least anyway. I don't know exactly their top speed, but it's a very nice sort of speed. This, here you, you can see, is one of the root indicators lit up. It's a bit hard to see it when you're trying to take a photo of it, but overall I do think it looks very nice. Obviously there's another one on the other end as well. The high mech of Huge Roof, it's an incredible 79 gram weight. You can easily pull two Mark 1 coaches around my layout, no problem. It's very easy to that to do that for it. And obviously it can also pull very, 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 very long trains as well if it was required of it. You can see here that it can pull them slowly as well. There's more wagons than you'd think would be on there. It's pretty much all the one I've ones I've got on this layout with me currently. Very nice long trains that are probably fairly realistic for what the local would be, especially when you compare it to say the 100 grams of the Class 68, which is a quite a large, well, larger loco to what we've got here because this is a small bobo, but it easily pulls two coach trains that I've got on my layout and can stop and start very easily. I overall would recommend this model due to it being costing £89 from Railway Sheffield, so that's where, if you want to buy one of these, that's where I'd recommend buying it from because I think they have the cheapest price. Also has a very nice level of detail, a decent sort of paint decoration, obviously there's some sort of minor, say, paint marks, but you might not necessarily have them on all of them, I don't know exactly. And the performance is very good, especially with the weight and the gearing is very low, but it is very sort of good for the speed. It's not overly fast like a lot of locos are. I hope you enjoyed this video by me. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below with some video ideas or feedback. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.